see in the background is one of our medevac choppers. These are the only choppers that are allowed to fly single. When our two choppers come in, that's, that's the way it always works. Is there's a, always two choppers on the flight. Going with me be Colonel Gallagher. Captain Asplund, who's doing the uh, videography for us. So we're just going to hang out here for, for a few minutes. We'll get started when the choppers get here. I got to get, get my glasses back on. Before I go blind. Alright, I was the prior video guy, but this is me, Captain Aspen, so it's myself, Top, and a good colonel, and we should be out of here in about half an hour. Alright, we'll probably see you then.
You want to take us to a guided tour of the facility? Go no, ahead, but Nick. you can. Ooh, look, now those are some big ones right there. This is the water palace. What a documentary. Yeah. Anything historical about the water palace? It's uh yes. no. I decided to be in your residence. <laughs> Fratricide Palace. Okay, this is uh, Saddam Hussein's main palace in Tikrit. Uh, this was the only palace on the complex that was bombed during the uh, start of the war. We're going to go around and take some, show you some pictures of where the bombs entered the building. Colonel Gallagher. Sergeant Major DePaulo. Captain Aspen. Can't mind. It's going. Oh, shit. All right. No. Come on! Hurry, hurry! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I don't think I'd put mine on a timer. Hey, my, hey, move mine back a little bit. Are you videoing this? Classic right here. Alright, mate. <laughs> it went off. It oh. Nice. Hang on, let me get a close up. Oops, I'm in the sun. Sullivan's Island. Okay, you can see where the bomb is entered. Okay, you can see where the floors have collapsed here on the palace. For the most part, it's stayed intact. But this was the only palace damaged during the initial bombing of the start of the war. Kind of give you a view of the Tigris River. Some more of the palaces that are located on the complex. And this is the uh, MWR building. That's where there's a gym, a coffee shop, the extra uh, internet, cafe, phones, the whole works. And all this is going to be turned back over to the government shortly as the 42nd pulls out in the next couple of months.